changes and a motion to accept it. So we should make a motion to accept the minutes as written. I'll second that. Thank you. Uh, any discussion? All right. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great. Thank you. All right. So they're accepted. So I thought next we could, so a couple of things for today. We could just talk a little bit about the joint sessions and put those behind us and talk about where we're headed moving forward from a next steps perspective and any requirements we might have. Um, talk about communications. We had talked about really making sure we pull that out and be really mindful and um, thoughtful about communications. And then talk about what we're going to do next. So, anyone want to start by talking about uh, the meetings that we have to send for, including the one we have this week on Tuesday?
but we're just going to see how it all plays out. And you, Jen? Yeah, I mean, I would echo a lot of the same thoughts. I mean, it's, it is too bad that it really isn't something to discuss and try to work through and work out. Um, but I agree, it's nice to know, hey, we're, we're going to go and figure out our, what we, we need to do for our kids and our, our town. So. But just one more question. When the open forums occur, some of the is going to come here and tell the stakeholders about that we want to be autonomous. I think that well, I think the, the open forum will be to present the plan. That that, that I mean, that's I, I guess Bob's going to. Yeah, can I add some clarification to that? Because I, I went back through and I, I reread our, our timeline and, and our RSA today, and I think I misspoke last night. It says specifically here. Um, before final approval of a plan by the planning committee, it shall hold at least one public hearing on the plan within the proposed SAU and shall give such public notice of the hearing at least two weeks prior to the hearing and in all affected school districts. I was originally reading that as uh, two public forums, one in each community. As I reread this, it needs to be one public forum in your own community, but it has to be advertised in both communities. So I, I think I misspoke okay, so on that. And, and we'll each be presenting our own plan, although hopefully there'll still be some. Hope, I, I, I think the, 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 uh, the bones of the plan are going to be the same, but, but then we, we have a lot more work to do on our side of it. Yeah, you're, you're, you, this committee would be... Um, that meeting would be twofold. One being to present where, how you've gotten to this point and what the options are and what you're thinking might be the outcomes and receiving input from them as to, they might be saying you're headed in the right direction, you know, I think you should look at this, whatever they give you for public feedback. That's why they're saying that it's, it, the plan isn't done until after you have the public forum and, and receive some feedback. So you would be part of the plan that you need to submit to ultimately to the State Board of Education, has to have any kind of uh, effects that, that will be on the other school, the other school district. And in your particular case, you know, you, you could outline that pretty easily, um, that there would be minimal effects of the withdrawal. So I would just encourage everybody to go back through, it should be in your binder, go back through that time. Uh, it, it's uh, Chapter 194C, and just look at the, the withdrawal process because it kind of outlines where we're going from here. And I think I think someone a couple nights ago did mention that, um, perhaps that you might be able to say you may be able to provide us all with a timeline, both both meetings with a timeline. Yeah, I mean it's so, it's pretty much spelled out right here. When it's kind of backwards from when you take your annual meeting and when it has to go to the Department of Education, uh, the State Board and then back it off, um, and that's kind of your timeline. So you're, you're still... Okay, so, so we're thinking that, that we, we, we would we'd be presenting it to the... I think we've said the important date is when we're, we're going to um, send it to the uh, Board of Education. To, to me, that's the important date that we have to work back from. The rest will follow us, but I think that's October, correct? October, November. Um, oh, that's right, you've got it right. It, it's, it's, okay. so, it's right, right, right so, time for uh, I could get this based on what yeah, I thought, uh, yeah. well, it was September, and I have a note of end of September. I yeah. Put yeah. in that time frame. But I think, I think maybe, well, the, I guess we can build our own timeline, yeah. if we need to, just so we have dates in front of us. Uh, I, I agree that, it, that we should probably do something about um, getting a contract out, and so I'm hoping that we can tap um, SAU uh, resources to build an RFP rather than, and, and, and that while we might invite three or four, the districts, SAUs, to, to definitely to go take a look at the RFP and enter into discussions with us. Um, we would also just put it out, because we, we might miss someone who might be a perfect match for us, and we don't know. I, I'd rather us not just pick them, but that's just a suggestion. And then maybe we'll do it through an RFP process. There's been a very um, early light kind of reaching out to see if there's any interest because some of us went through the same process about, I don't know, a month ago, a month and a half ago. Uh, so I, I sent out a letter to for them 
surrounding SAUs and, and seeing if there's any interest at all in taking on anybody. Um, and really the only interest I got back was a, a possibility of a discussion from Dover. Um, Rochester wasn't interested, Barrington wasn't interested. Um, Oyster River? Oyster River wasn't interested. But were they thinking of that in the context of Summersworth being a much larger... Well, when I, frame the, when I frame the question, I ask the question of either or because both plans need to include the other. Mm -hmm. So I asked if there was in, any interest either or of having a further discussion. Uh, I didn't have any details or particulars at that time. but uh, So really the only interest I got at that point was, was from Dover for a discussion. <coughs> and do you think there's a difference of, a, of interest whether we become part of an SAU or we contract out to another SAU? In other words, would Oyster River be interested if we were just going to contract with their services? My guess is that most would simply be looking to contract the service. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I think the only ones that might be interested in coupling together might be something like a uh, uh, a Wakefield, you know, so a small entity. Uh, if Barrington were thinking of doing that, perhaps they're kind of a small entity, but they're not. Um, I mean, it would be up to the obviously the local boards. So it makes sense for us to re once we're able to solidify the concept and exactly what we're looking to do. To maybe do another reach out with something a little more specific to mm -hmm. say, here's where we are in the process, here's what we're looking to do, we'd like to... Well, and I think that's part of sort of uh, writing an RFP, yeah. and, 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 and I think it probably is better to leave it in sort of professionals hands who write their RFPs for, mm -hmm. more often than we do. We would all be, you know, just to write a draft of, that here's, here's what we're looking for, for services. Um, and, and they don't have to be specific. They can point to the RSAs of um, SAU services that, that we, because we need all of them. Um, we don't need them, you know, we don't need them full time, but we need all of them. And there are a couple other things that are not included in that that Summersworth currently provides for us that we sometimes forget as a, as a school district. They provide for us our pre K education. Uh, yeah, so um, we don't have pre-K. Yes, we do, and that's and, and Summersworth provides that to us, and that's that. Yep, um, when you reach a certain two and a half or three years old, if you're a special ed student, ah, not you, for the whole population. No, it's, no, we don't. And you're right, we don't have pre-K for the whole population. That is correct. Um, it's, it's, but that's right. An important service. But, but but it's an important service, and we have to provide it. I mean, that's oh, that's that. Child legally we have to provide it. I think it's I don't know if it's child fine or what it's called. Yeah, it's part of it. I don't believe we have any of what they call the, um, I don't know what they call them, companion students, what are they called, the ones that, um, the, ones, the ones that attend as a, a peer, uh, I don't know, there are some that aren't special needs students that also attend, I don't believe Typical, mm -hmm. Typical students. Yeah, yeah I, don't, I don't believe Rollinsford students are ever tapped for that, I think only the special ed students, I think only our special ed students go. And also, um, in the state of New Hampshire, Special education has to be provided until the student reaches 21. In the state of Maine, it's only 20. And so currently, Summersworth is also providing that service to us, that extra year that's required by New Hampshire law. So we also we, we either so we also either we keep that separate and, and continue to work with Summersworth on that, or so they're just well, other bits and pieces we can't let fall off the plate. But so. any any district in New Hampshire has to provide. That special ed services. Yes, but we don't, we in Rollinsford have never provided it. We have always contracted with someone else to do it. Right, so, but that's but, separate from the uh, services provided yeah, by the SAU. They correct. coordinate that. Cor correct. Out right. Correct. School. Right. Is so there anything provided currently by the SAU or that we would want provided by the SAU that uh, is not part of but the uh, RSAs and guidelines, or can we simply go to other, go to any given SAU and say, here's our demographics for the last five years. What would you charge us going forward? So 
So yeah, I think it, I, I think an initial re remember, no matter where you settle, you'll still have to go kind of into negotiations with contracts and things like that. So I think initially it could be a a fairly um, simple document asking for, like you said, I mean, we'll, we'll refer back to the RSA, but the superintendent services, uh, special ed director services, business services, and ask for a kind of formula. Um, what they want to do. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, I think that it could be done fairly, um, fairly quickly. Because we're not talking about a lot of kids. We're talking about, that. well, right, but they still have to oversee, you know. The formula could come down to that. Yeah, yeah. we have, you know, this 15% of the population is special ed. I mean, I think that that's something we should get, if you're going that direction, get it out sooner than later because some of those may have to go through multiple school board meetings in other communities and during the summertime, some communities have one a month, so, uh, you know, it could be... But that would good. be true whether we did an RFP or just reached out, right? Yes. So, I mean, it still has to go through. Yeah, it still, it still yeah. has to go So, what I'm saying is that you, you may not have this information until... August. I think, the, yeah, I think the, it, what would be most important to have for our for our public hearing is that we know of at least one or two or three interested <coughs> communities. I think that would be the most important thing to have. And I think to, to know that we actually have options. Yeah. Or right. Not. And I think the other thing is, do we need to compare and contrast becoming our own entity of an SAU, SAU 125, or whatever the number is, and being a whole self-supported SAU, or do we want to contract out? But that's the other option, right? So we, one was to stay with Summersworth, one would be to become our own entity, and then we'd be our own entity, but contract out the services. I think, I think for myself, I'd have to see a pros and cons list about contracting versus being independent, having our own, what, you know, what are the benefits? The, my understanding is the role of the state board is going to make sure that both communities are taken care of and that nobody's left out in the cold. They are not going to step in and say, this is too much or this is too little or you should charge more. I don't think that they're going to do that. They're just going to, their, their role is to make sure that, that uh, both sides have, have some consideration for service. But yet they step in to, to determine our cost right now. No, 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 the state board does not. Who, who it's not the state board. That's, that's, that's by our <laughs> the, the state board, if they're going to approve or deny withdrawal for any community, it's just simply to make sure that both entities or multiple entities are getting services. They're not going to jump in and say, well, that's $100,000 too much, or you should, they're so not going to do that. who determines this fee that we're trying to pay the summer? Um, that's set by RSA. It's, it, 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 it's, it's the, um, it's set by law. It's set by law, so right. that, that's my question. Yeah. Will, is there, you know, is there a certain limit that is set by law for districts that contract? No. no. So, I don't no. believe it is if you contract a service. There is, there is not. And even when we were in the area agreement, mm -hmm. our SAU costs were set by law, but our tuition was not set by law. Because we actually paid tuition when we were in the area agreement. Right. So who set that? It, that was set um, with the, by, the, sent by the incoming district that we sent our students. Tuition is yeah. set by a contractual agreement. But it Between the two, whatever. Yeah. They had that. Yep. Well, it, yeah, it wasn't actually, when, when it's an area agreement, it's not exactly a contract, but yeah. yeah. I mean, it is, but it's a different type of contract. So really, whether we contract out or separate SAU, we can go through all of this. And let's say Summers Worth says, yes, you can contract with us, but it's for $300,000. And that's the only one on the table. Mm -hmm. So we say, okay, we're going to do this because the state says so. And then we go to the town and vote, 
and it gets rejected, right? I, as a, as a resident, would reject something like that. Yep. So now we're back to nothing, and then... At, at that point, if, if, if that was the only thing on the table for a vote, at that point, you would stay status quo until somebody decided to do something different. So, for all intents and purposes, you'd be at least another year out. Yeah. As far as the SAU. Yes. It's like receivership. <laughs> yeah. Um, that's an interesting question. Now, again, clearly last night, the, the message we got, and again, they are not the city council. They're, they're not, even though they were speaking for, they weren't speaking for, they were very careful to kind of word it that way. I mean, even, even um, it, they talked about it being no more than the state formula. That's what one person yeah, said. No, no I, it, was much, it was many more than, it was more than one. But I, I didn't leave the meeting them. with that. Right, okay, I, I did. I, right. okay. I got it. Right. There's more than yeah, I, I, I got the impression that there was some thoughts that they could get what they would perceive as being more a more fair amount. And that's what's... Oh, I thought the, they were considering yeah, that. That's just like you were. I said that. Yeah. I and heard what Judy heard, that they were thinking less because we wouldn't have a seat at the table. Yeah. And that's some conjecture, but yeah. that was the feeling that I got. We don't know what they're thinking. No. Yeah, no, that's true. <laughs> but it, it would be between the boards, is that correct? Correct. But they would have guidance. And yeah, the city council and doesn't vote on the contract. I don't know, except that it's part of the school. I don't know, I don't know how it works. Either. Uh, ultimate, ultimately, the I think that would be through the board uh, setting that contract. And, and actually, I, th I think I have to say that we would not be putting to the public, we have a contract for $300,000. Just like we didn't for the Marshwood School, when we went for the vote for Marshwood, it was the, the vote for the public was, this is the direction the withdrawal committee has chosen to do, the contract out, and um, and, and, we, and we will get the best cost available to us. Really? Because we, yeah. I mean, I as a voter would say, well, okay, that's interesting. Well, what's it going to cost? Is, it, is, it my tax, is my tax bill going to be the same? Well, and, is it going to change significantly? And, yeah. and I guess not knowing that, I by default would vote no because at least it maintains the status quo. Yes, and, and hopefully we, we would know enough at, at the time, by the time we wrote the warrant article, as we did with the, with the move to Marshwood, we knew that it was going to be less money to move to Marshwood than, than it was to continue with Summersworth. And, and that, that was, was oh, sorry. That was in the warrant article? It was in the, yeah, the warrant article didn't say that it was going to be less money, but that was part of the, it was, it was, um, it was an amazing time because there were um, odd bedfellows, because we were going to save money and we were, and there were a bunch of people who didn't want us to move, but when they heard we were going to save money, mm -hmm. then, then suddenly it was, a, it was a very, it was an overwhelming decision. Yeah. <laughs> That would be part of the discussion. Yeah. Okay. So it would very much be part of the discussion. It, it was an overwhelming vote to make the move. And we have indeed saved money. Yeah. And that was many years in the making. It, yes, as... That was many years in the making. Uh, well, I think, I think it probably two when you actually got down to it. When, when it was actually put the vote, you know, the... Um, yeah, there was always talk about yeah. that. Yeah. Two or three, you're right. So... We're at a point where... We do have options, but we need to figure out how to peel out our part of the, the work, right? Uh, the, I guess we have, in order to build an RFP, I don't know if we can just say, here are the RFAs, and here's what we want for this is our number of students. Well, I, 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 think, that, I think that we can leave it in the hands of the professionals at the moment to, to come up with an RFP. There are, I'm sure there are example contracts out there. There are, there are communities who've done it very recently, even. And I couldn't find any with quick Google searches, but um, there are some out there. And I, I don't, it, just so we can get some sort of boilerplate to start with, then we can take a look at it. And, and again, while I think it would be very important uh, for the school board to keep, to keep this group involved in reviewing that type of thing. It will be the school board that enters into the contract. Mm -hmm. But, but it would be great to have, have everybody's input so that we don't miss something. I mean, Bob, as I thought about these, is, is this, I'm kind of envisioning these as being the same as a real estate closing document. You know, they've done them before, you have a starting point, and then the lawyers and people are going to get through them. So I guess to Judy's point, how do we get, how do we, you know, are there lawyers? Are there people who do this for a side business or a business? Yes. 
and we would want to have some contacts with Absolutely. them. Well, I think at this point that's a, a, a bit premature because you, you're not at that stage yet. You're not, the, the school board is not at the stage of, it, the committee hasn't said we're going in that direction yet. So, I, my suggestion, my suggestion would be to um, allow me and my office to approach uh, Dover, Summersworth, Marshwood, I'm trying to think if I get any positive returns from anybody else. Um, no Portsmouth? Portsmouth was not interested. Well, SAU 50. Uh, Greenland was not, no. SAU 50 was not interested. Um, it's Dover, Rochester. The list you gave us was Dover, Rochester, Farrington, Oyster River, Milton, Newmarket. I mean, spe specifically, I would want to get in touch with these three. Um, but I certainly could resend to the others as well, just to close that loop. I mean, that's not. Could we see what you're going to send them before? Oh, absolutely, that's, I mean, that's absolutely, yes. Yeah. And then, in addition to that, uh, I can work up a more detailed guesstimate as to a standalone cost. Okay. If you were to do your own, and then from that, you'll have additional information to kind of make a little bit more informed uh, decision on the direction. Okay. And I, think, and I think we should talk a little bit about direction, talk a little bit about what the pros and cons are. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I actually feel like I'd like a little more information from the people who use the services. So whether it's Rich Hartford or, um, you know, have, have a conversation with him and have him speak with us about the services that they they receive from the SAU um, and how they're valued. I think someone brought it up the other night when um, the life and the teacher, um, oh, there's Reich, 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 came to the, the meeting on May 15th. You know, from her perspective, um, you know, what was valuable. Um, I think it would be helpful to hear from Rich because he's interacting, presumably, Bob with you pretty regularly. Yeah. Um, and while we're autonomous, we still use your services. So I want to make sure that we, we get a sense. I'd like to have a sense of that so that I can feel confident in the directions that we're going, even though we don't make the ultimate decision as to who to contract with. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think it's good to make, again, to make sure that we don't miss anything. But whether or not the school board feels the service is valuable or whether or not the building administrator feels the services are valuable. They are still services that we expect um, to be receiving. Right. Um, so it's and and so it's not as if we're going to say, well, you know, we'd like to contract you. Oh, by the way, don't worry about HR. We don't care about that. Don't be silly. We, you know, so we're not going to pay for that. You know, we need to. Well, it's nice to get everybody's input, so we're sure we're not dropping anything, dropping the ball. Um, right. But how do we know those things like the pre? And the uh, SPED until 21, and that we were, you know, so I guess. Right. To, 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 yes, and, and, and that would come down to when someone's interested in contracting, we would have to have that chat with that superintendent, you know, saying, you know, should it come down that we have, say, let's say we just have two people interested, and then at that point it would be some, um, it's kind of like shopping for a new superintendent in essence. Um, it, it, it's, sitting down and talking with them and working out what, what might be in the contract and talking about So wouldn't we stuff. want everything that they provide for their own district for us? Not necessarily. No? no? Even what we we use in Rollinsford, I think, it, in conversation versus what Summersworth uses from the SAU office is very different. So... We just, we want this. <laughs> We want the RSA. Let's see what we have now. Yeah. Let's just continue. Yeah. So, so an example is, uh, uh, in Summersworth, they use uh, the, the curriculum oh. piece from the SAU office a lot more than we use it here. But that's not to say that we don't use it here. Yeah. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Because they, they have a lot mandates. of schools to coordinate it yet. Right. right. And there's mandates for the federal government and the state government. We pick and choose what we want to use, and then we, we, we don't 
don't pick, you don't pick and choose federal it's just, laws it's or just federal laws. It's, it's just it, 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 we use it, it, it differently. And we don't use it as, you know, we don't need as much oversight because this was more a bottom-up, an entrepreneurial school that, that, that went in a slightly different direction. We started doing um, uh, localized t um, testing much sooner than, than some of the other school districts have in New Hampshire. But it was perfectly legal to do yeah. so. So those kind of things. Yeah. So what's the recommendation on next steps? Uh, do you have sort of draft something that can be sent and shared with us that then can be sent out to other SAUs? Um, not yet, but I will. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but is it right? Yeah, is that I like can. I can. Down? Yeah, I can put something together and then get it out to the the group to to provide feedback, and then if you think it's ready, then we can send it out and see what we get back for information. And like I said. In the, Meantime, while we're waiting for that, we can certainly work up a kind of standalone cost and what that might be. The difference in my mind is that if you contract a service with, whether it's Summersworth, Dover, uh, you know, Portsmouth, Marshwood, wherever, the difference is going to be at that point you're going to have a full service SAU at your disposal. Um, so if you need a staff investigation, if you need extracurricular work, if you need, I mean, that's always available from the size office that we have and that Dover has. Uh, if you go a kind of standalone part-time, you can have a part-time superintendent, a part-time business administrator, which means that at any point in time, uh, you know, you may or may not have that at your disposal. Now, do you need it all the time? No, you don't need it all the time. Do you need it once in a while? Maybe. Um, you know. So it, it's it's not that it, it's just going to be provided differently. Now, what are you going to lose if you're if you're in a bigger district? You could lose some of the personal attention. Uh, you know, if you're if you're in with a a Dover or something like that, um, obviously a larger entity. Uh, are they going to have the availability to the SAU staff that, that you have now, or if you have an in-district kind of standalone part-time? Uh, it's just going to be different. You're still going to get the services, you're still going to get what's required by RSA, but the availability and the access is going to be a little different. Do you think that if, when we put out our uh, feelers to other districts, do you think that they would inquire as to how we use the service? Like, you know, how much did you use it? How much special ed? How much lunch or whatever that they could establish? Well, they're a needy district or they're independent and they pretty much run on their own except in an emergency. You know what I mean? It's yeah, I think the initial answer you're going to get back is yes, we're interested or no, we're not. That's it. I, I think <laughs> I think you're, you you may get some very uh, rough numbers or guesstimates along the way, but I think it's going to be, you know, yes, we're interested, let's talk further, or no thank you, we're, we're, we're good the way we are. Uh, and then there's, no matter what you get back for an answer, there's going to be a lot more discussions. Mm -hmm. and, 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 absolutely, and you're, you're absolutely right, Shelley, in, in the questions you're asking, because we were approached by um, SAU 56, and Rawlinsford in particular, what, what, they came to our meetings, I don't know if they went to Summersworth meetings, when they, they were shopping around to try to contract for SAU services. And so um, the executive team, which was the chairs of all the boards, met with the superintendent, with their board, with, with their representatives from, from, the, uh, from Milton, and um, to, to, to hash it out a little bit, to hash out what they would need, you know, what they need, and the superintendent at the time saying, well, you know, I would only feel comfortable if, you know, if I could do this amount of time and that amount of time, you know, I'm not going to take on a district that I can't, right. that I can't serve. It doesn't make any sense to do that. And so it was, it was a very good, very good open discussion, and those things would indeed happen, yes, at the, if, if indeed they're interested. You know, it's like Marshall taking us. You know, it's the X amount of students that the reputation from this school is, is very good. And, you know, they are a school of a few thousand, their population. So what's another 150 or 125 for almost a million dollars? Because that's what we used to pay the summers. Well, remember, you know, we're not talking about the kids. No, no, I know, but they had to take 
know, they, they took on something extra, just like Dover or Newmarket or somebody would take on something extra. And it's, you know, they're already functioning at, at a higher level. Why not? Right? And they had the bandwidth to take it on. Marshwood had the empty space. They had empty classrooms. Right. And so, they, yes, they had to hire a few more teachers and we right. absorb those costs. So, yeah. But it was cost effective for them. Right. Very much so. Very much so. All right, getting back to the SAU focus, it feels like at this point that we're all on board with uh, finding out from surrounding SAUs whether they're a yes or no to being interested. Well, we're, 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 Once we have, until we have that information, is there anything else that we need to do to move forward? I think we should plan to meet with Um, and I don't know who else, maybe the special aid director from the SAU, and to understand how those services are provided to Rollinsburg so that we, we can, can uh, the board can help, and the board can answer some of those questions too, okay. and, and, and we are uh, between um, uh, special ed um, directors oh, okay. um, at the moment, so, so a new person coming in won't know exactly what, <laughs> what, what they do. But, um, but one of the, uh, but we also have, and to Shelley's question too, from the, one of the um, Summersworth uh, withdrawal meetings, um, uh, they also asked how much time the spent, folks spent on uh, Rollinsford and the business administrators spent on Rollinsford, and they both said, well, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's about that 15% that they pay. It's, it's right around there. You know, we don't, they don't keep track of their minutes or their to do it, but they feel that's their sense of it. And it's been their sense all along. That it, that's, it's, been a, it's been a fair deal all around. And the other thing, since we are pretty certain we are separate from SE 56, there's the assets component, and I know there's no building, don't worry, we're not doing <laughs> um, <laughs> But, <clears throat> you know, we will need to consider those things too, and I don't know if that just comes along with whatever decision we make or if we need to make plans for those assets so that we can discuss that with our forum. Well, yeah, yes, and in, in, in general, the, the biggest asset we will get is our, our 15, 16, or 17 percent of the fund balance. That's the biggest asset that we will receive. So um, it might pay some lawyers' costs. We'll have to see. I don't know where it is at the moment. That's probably the, the biggest asset. There might be a few iPads here and there. Yeah, you've got, you've got a, a capital there. That we'll have more in it once the audit's done this year. So certainly we can get that. Is that capital reserve the same as the fund balance? Yeah, it's uh, fund balance. Sorry. In, 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 at the SAU, it is a fund balance. Okay. It's yes, it is. So is there a leak? I mean, I'm just thinking about uh, wouldn't we want to know what that number is pretty soon? I mean, you know, people can always play games. Oh, it's gonna, yeah, it's going to change a little bit with the audit. I mean, yeah. it, it's pretty close right now. But it's yeah. pretty consistent over the years. What that fund balance it goes up and down. It's been used to reduce uh, the cost at the SAU. It's been used to reduce the cost uh, for a number of years. Yeah. Um, um, but it, it consistently, I think around two hundred thousand is in there. And okay. So I don't. I, I don't. I think we're a little lower than that because we, uh, we dipped into it last. Someone's worth asked us all to dip into it last yeah, year. Yes, a little did. lower than that. So, um, but let's say it's about two hundred thousand, and we'll get whatever it is. We'll have to work out the exact. Uh, and if it comes down to where we're really 60. looking and we're ready to sign on the line, if it's only 100000 would that be a red flag? Uh, yes, because that would, it would mean that we hadn't been told at SAU meetings what, what right. was happening. Yeah. No, they're not going to spend, it's not going to give it, a, I understand okay. what you're saying. Okay. It should not be a problem. So I just have one final question on this, because it, it's just kind of gnawing a little bit. I feel that some of this work really wants our business. But I feel that they don't want us at the table to have any input. And I know that the state is in charge of 357 and it goes with our school board. If we kept it status quo that we showed up for those three SAU meetings a year, it's, it, it, that's what they want. They don't want any. I don't think we, we can verbally legally agree to just not show up. Certainly <laughs> <laughs> so not public. <laughs> but really, that's what they want. But that, in reality, that doesn't restrict anything because you, you, you at any point in time, um, board members can.
can go. And you can't tell somebody, don't go. So, I mean, that, that, that would, I don't think that that would be a good and, and de facto, that they, they have always had a majority at the meetings. Except yeah. that one time. Except the one time and nothing, but nothing was decided that one time. Yeah. So, so, I mean, so, so, fact, it's facts versus feeling, as, yeah. as Joe so easily, nicely put it the other night. Or just three people show up and say, oh, Most of the time, all five of us can't make it. It's usually a smaller crowd anyway. That seems to be the bone of contention at SAU. We're, we're not going to solve, we're not going to, we're, we're, we're not going to solve their, I think they've made their feelings for them. Yeah. That's too bad. I think it is too bad. It's, yeah. uh, it's just too bad. Yeah, see, the fact that we're going to have to hire a lawyer and spend money on that, well, it's, it's not unusual. We probably will be hiring a, a lawyer. The school board will probably be hiring a lawyer anyway. We're going to make some changes probably to the Marshwood contract in terms of getting rid of obsolete language. We're going to meet with the Marshwood board uh, later this summer in July. And um, we'll be able to... They, they, they suggest we remove some obsolete language, which makes sense. We'll probably look at it. We have a list of other things we're just going to discuss with them and talk about whether we formalize them or not or whether we formalize it. Uh, we, 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 our automatic extension. Well, I don't want to. Let me knock it off on that. But uh, we will. We will likely be hiring a lawyer anyway. So we don't have. District does not employ a, a lawyer on the team. No, the SAU has uh, a law firm, and and but there's none that's in this case because it's the two entities within the SAU. We each will have to have our own lawyers. Yeah, we've got a couple <laughs> yeah. of law firms that, depending on whether we're talking about special ed law or or, right. or employee staff law, personnel law, um, you know, all of them have their own strengths and weaknesses. So, um, let's do this. We've got, if we back into what we've got on our plate, in March we have the ballot, right? So. Prior to that, we'll need to get the warrant article on the ballot, whatever it may be. Um, unless we were, the only way we wouldn't need to do anything is um, if we don't withdraw, which we're making the decision. Well, well, if we have a huge turnout at the public hearing, and, by, and it has to be more than like 10 people. Mm -hmm. You know, we, I, you know I, I, if 10 people come and they speak as one person, it's still not enough, I think, for, 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 for us to change our minds about right, it. Right, but well, it's a tough time. Summer is a tough Well, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be, it's going to be uh, September. Oh, yeah, so let's back in to that. So we've got, the potential start date is July 1st, 2020. Mm -hmm. So from there, the town election is, I think it's March, March 10th. Yeah. Um, and then moving back from that would be the SB, the non SB2 school session. The deliberative session is in January. Okay. Well, February, February. And the town yeah, but, yeah, has yeah. a Saturday meeting as well where they cover the town, not the town meeting, but the, it's the deliberative so, session as well. So, so in, in January is the budget committee's presentation of the budget, which is where warrants will also get discussed. In February is the deliberative session. Okay. And then in March is the. Um, but, yeah. And then warrant articles, the ballot deadlines at some point in early January. Yeah. Um, uh, uh, like, uh, yeah. yeah. So, moving back from there, we have. In order to have a warrant to put on, it'll have to get to the Department of Ed that's in October, October, right? I'm going back. What, what, yeah, what do you have there? So, um, we, yeah, we need to submit to the state board in October or early November. Um, they have. We have to, let's see, state, it's a state board has 60 days from receipt to approve or disapprove. So that means we would have to be at late October, early well, November. Yeah, I would say, mid, yeah, November, December. Right. Yeah, I, I would say, you know, again, holidays, I would say we'd want to get it by mid-October or something like this. Ideally, yeah, yeah. Yep. And then from there, we have to have a public hearing at no less than 14 days prior to submission to the board. Yep, so now we're so to take that from there. So we need to have the full plan. I would say by yeah, in the first couple of weeks of September, we need to have it drawn out um, and draft drafting it um, because we have to have we have to have a study of the current SAU operation, control, construction, maintaining, operating. We have to have the startup cost if we were to create a new SAU. The 
funding, um, educational analysis on the impact of the school districts, the current and future, financial analysis of the impact of the school districts, current and future, um, document disposition plans for the life assets and liabilities, and then if we have a new SAU, there's a group of things we need to do, and we have to have the, the hearing. So. And, and, and even based on that list, I, I am leaning toward that we seriously consider contracting as our initial step. It, it doesn't mean that we continue to contract indefinitely. It means that we start out contracting with whomever. It might be Summersworth, it might be someone else. Uh, and But after that, our, then we have time to also do other things. You know, after that, we can. Right, because we'll spend all our time developing a plan for the independent. That'll take a lot of, a lot of work, a lot of time. Whereas if we just work towards the contract and Let's say we don't get a contract, but the state will require Summersworth to carry us until we do find someone to take it. We require the SAU to carry us. We require the SAU, and in that just time, then we can develop our own independent plan. We'll have a lot more time. But our study has yeah. should include the pros and cons and the approximate impact of going independent. But again, they don't have to be. They don't have to be. You know, the pros can be that it um, uh, the, the the con for doing for doing uh, going independent is that is is the time frame. It could be. And, and yep. it, I mean, that, that that that's a big con right there. Also, yeah. and, and also that it's not um, there's not always someone at the other end of the phone when you pick it up if there's a problem. Uh, and the pros and then the pros and cons to contracting. Um, Absolutely, I think which is all about contracting. They're pros and cons, but I think. To do our due diligence, we need to at least have, you know, whether it's that third of a page, right? Mm -hmm. the same mm -hmm. contract yeah. to create our own. We need to we need to think through those options and then say this is the funnel, this is the, the road we're going down. Um, I'd feel more comfortable if we were to do that as a as a group that would then look at it holistically. All right. So 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 Bob's going to get us rough costs. So I can work with Rich to see if he can come join us for um, a meeting. Um, sometime when we schedule our next meeting, I can see and we can grab a couple of meetings and see if you can be able to join us. Um, if you guys would be okay with that. Um, and then that should buy us a little bit of time while we're waiting for responses back um, from various SAUs thinking that we might have some in the summer which would then put us back kind of feet on the ground mid-August, driving towards mid-September. Yeah, mid-August would be, I think, when we, when we really start. To, um, again, the SAU is going to be offered, so the SAU will be actually pulling together the plan. And we'll, be, and we'll just need time to okay it. Yeah, and I think there's content creation that we need to do as a team, right, to be able to, to build the book board. Mm -hmm. Is that yeah. yeah. So, um, okay. What do you What are your thoughts? Questions? Well, if if a this if an SAU says yes to one of your inquiries, does that yes come with a dollar figure by any chance? I'd be surprised if it did initially. Um, I, I think that that would come a little bit later in in. Uh, would your Would your inquiry our cost right now? I would, I would not put that in initially. I would um, guess that that would be a question and when, when we met with them. Because okay. uh, they might have, they maybe have an idea, have no idea. That's a public information. Yeah, it's a public information. Yeah. It is. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't include that in the, in the letter. I mean, I would imagine that that would be a question that they ask. And, uh, Certainly, let them know what we're paying. But let's keep in mind that at this moment, Bob is working for us to, to, right. to do this. So, so in a way, it's, it's going out, but it's it, it's on our behalf. Right. So we're gonna we're gonna see the responses. We're gonna we're, we're gonna see what he's right. gonna send before he sends it. Yeah. We're gonna see the responses. It's um. It's a business, though. It's about money. I'm sorry to say, it, but well, it is that, about money. It, it is about money. That it's about money. Okay. Well, somebody's gonna do it if they're. 
marginal cost to bring us on is less than what we're going to pay. They're going to say this is an advantage right. to people to do this. Right. And any other any receiving district that's going to take this on is going to, like and you do said, how much money are we going to get? And do we need to add staff? Do we need to, what time is that going to take away? All of that stuff. Yeah. All right. So. so. Sounds like we plan for it. Yeah, well, I'll get this together and get it back to the committee so they can look at it. Great. So let's talk a little bit about um, communication. Um, so one of the big things will obviously be, obviously be the public hearing, which we could try to come up with. Maybe we should try to come up with a date by uh, within August. You know, we're, we're starting to really kind of. Not a date to meet in August, but a date for the future. Can I just, yeah. well, before we move off that, um, yeah. Yeah, just kind of clarify a time frame. I'm thinking uh, I'm at a conference three days next week. So I'm thinking by, what's the following Friday? The fifth? Yeah. Yeah. I think that's I think that's kind of a realistic time frame to have a drive. Yeah, I can get it together before that. Okay. Any sooner than that. Remember, you've got to turn the plan over to get it to the state board, too. So we 
probably two weeks. We have to have it two weeks before we turn it over. So that we should shoot for the earlier week. Yeah, I, so I think so. Okay, so the week of the 16th. Do we want to um, see what's going on up in the town that week to decide what night? Someone pull up the town calendar. So I'll check my own calendar first. So we're in the week of the 16th of September? Yes. Can't do Friday, but that probably wouldn't, probably wouldn't be good, good anyway. Oh, unless we served Margarita. <laughs> <laughs> then you could make it. Is that what you're trying? Yeah. Right. No, <laughs> no, no. Other people would come. I still can't. Make Usually a Saturday. Yeah, it's a Saturday. So okay, it's not going to be Saturday this year. Oh, I don't want to let the cat out of the bag, but it hasn't been decided yet. But it's not going to be the usual <laughs> Saturday. So the select board meetings are the only meetings that are on the calendar as of right now. So on the town calendar. So do we want to go with say Wednesday? Do you think Wednesday the 18th? Yes. I say pick it. All, All right. right, go for it. Wednesday, September 18th. And well, we'll time to be determined, right? right. And, 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 and you know, daycare and all those things. Right. We just work with the PTO, maybe. Or That'd maybe be great. Maybe Kate can help us with that. Um, I'm just kind of figure out daycare, and then we just need. We'll do it here. I'm assuming. I think so. Mm -hmm. Of course, it also depends on what's happening here. So yeah, good, good to check in with Rich. I'll check in with Rich. Yeah, I'll send him a note. Um, in case that's like open, open house night. Yes, yeah. <laughs> there's something to make sure we have yeah. the. Yeah. So, so, so this may change slightly depending on when open house night. But let's target that week. I think it's usually Tuesday. And we'll probably want to meet maybe the night before just to make sure we're there and ready to go. We'll be meeting a few times. I would, yes, probably. <laughs> so, um, in terms of other communications, so now we have once we follow up, follow up with Rich on the school. Once we get confirmation on the school, um, then we can... Um, I, I am sending to just three of you because all of you can share it around, but um, uh, Middleton, I found Middleton's uh, uh, something they published and, and sent to every every household in town. Yeah. It was it was really a nice flyer. Okay. So I'm just uh, on this exact Thing. Great. Okay. So I'm sending it to the three of you. Okay. Because I know you need the fa the facts and stuff. So um, take a look at it. See what you think. And share it with everyone else. Like, like, yeah. So I can send it out. And I think that leads into talking about how do we get people prepared for this, right? We, yeah. We we're at the ice cream social. Um, I think there. I don't know what other forms there are between now and then. Do we want to create a space to have the conversation with people, whether it's at the library. I don't know. But isn't that the purpose of the forum? Is it? It, it is to share our final decision. Yeah. But I think like to get input then. Okay, so you. Well, yeah, that's education. not our final decision. Yeah, that's it's, our, that's it, it's, it's, it's information gathering. So yeah. certainly to bring the, uh, the public up to speed as to what your thought process was, where you're going with things. But that that's that's, that's information. Yeah. I mean that's that's to get feedback from that. So, I mean, I think that education of just like we went through would be helpful, whether or not that it's in that flyer, the flyer can help. Yes, you think, that. I mean, it's very, it's very high level, mm -hmm. you know, it really, it, to me it was chock a block full of information. Okay. And the, you know, the FAQs as well, I think the more people we can get in front of, I did create a Facebook page for us, um, and I spoke to Caroline at the town hall today about getting some space on the town website so that we can, people can come and read at the meeting minutes, etc. What about and that, you know, that quarterly paper that comes out in the town? Yeah, well, it comes out uh, twice a year. It just came out. It just came out, so. 
I think having a separate drop down on the town web page and pointing to people and talking that up, and, yeah. you know, people can consume it at their pleasure. Um, so, and then there's the Facebook page, which they can link to as well, and we can answer questions there. Um, right, and I guess also the key, I mean, the, the school, the people who have kids in the school are probably the ones that are going to be most interested in this. And so are there any things that are going on at the school, just like the ice cream social, that you could leverage that as a way before, just to, you know, take, go to the web page, do this, do that kind of stuff. Not till September. Yeah, so. Yeah, so, so it's not till September, really, but. And, and go ahead. Uh, I was just going to say, I think that's okay. I think if we hold off a little bit on the communications until we have mm -hmm. a basic idea of what we're doing, otherwise it's mm -hmm. kind of too much information, mm -hmm. confusing. Mm -hmm. um, we can update the FAQ, um, but I don't necessarily think that September is too late for that. Um, at least for like a final push before the, the forum. Right, because the yeah the public hearing forum is one thing to get just to let people know the direction we're thinking of and to see if there's any yeah great you're doing a great job keep it up and then and then there'll be more other because the big push is, is the vote in March obviously yeah that that's the, that's the big thing and I think you, what you, what's been helpful in the past is when people are educated ahead of time so they know to go to the forum. Right, because you don't yes. know what you don't know. So how do you help people know that hey, you should care about this? Because yeah. you're going to be voting on it in March, and you can have a chance to ask. And, and we can we can talk a little bit about. I mean, the school board did did put a little extra money in the budget this year, knowing we'd have to hire lawyers and and maybe do some other types of communication. But we need to talk about that because I'm not sure we you know I don't I don't know if we want to fund two mailers, for instance. You know, yeah. But but we do want people informed, and maybe we do. So we we'll have to. So we'll have to look at our, I have to look at the budget again. I have to look at the coming year's budget very closely, but I'll um, we'll have to see where we stand with that. We could do a um, very amateur video, um, you know, sort of Q&A session like they do for the vote when there are candidates. You know, one person sort of interviews somebody and asks some questions, and um, it might be an interesting way to get some eyeballs on these buildings. Quick video. I okay. <laughs> I, I could do that if I could read the questions myself. I don't know. It's, I think it's a good time to try to try new things. I think it's a great idea. Yeah, I would read the questions to you. <laughs> All right, you're on. <laughs> we can be the lighting crew. sandwich boards, mm -hmm. you know, if we can, yeah, we can enlist both of them uh, to use their sandwich boards and, and as, a, as, a, as a committee get, get them out around if we need to, if they, mm -hmm. so, so that they're really littered throughout the town. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, things like that I think would be helpful. Yeah. yeah maybe. And we'll, we can try to get one on, those, on a Summersworth line so people can see them as they drive back and forth through Summersworth. See it. We have a couple places where we... Right. And I don't know if there are any back to school flyers or mailers that will go out in the There probably are. Check with Bridge on that. Yeah. So there might be another way to get at least a blurb mm -hmm. um, there, or drive traffic to YouTube from YouTube channel. No, I wasn't saying it should be me. <laughs>
go to our next meeting, which we need to pick a date for. Um, and then um, the date, so we'll know kind of what's what's coming. We should probably open, is there open now in September? No, the next one is the weekend before Thanksgiving. Pies are for sale. Oh, so. <laughs> <laughs> Anything in the library? Yeah, there might be. So I think we should just keep our eyes and ears open for those types of opportunities because I think any one of us could go support, you know, whether it's making sure the organizer has FAQs or one of us is there to answer questions um, or two, ideally two of us so we can just be there to support each other. Um, I think that's helpful. Is there anything else you can think of from a communication perspective? No, I think you're on the right track because I, I found the same thing. That if you put it out one way, you only get, you know, a, a small percentage of the people putting it out in a variety of different ways. Uh, everything you can think of is the only way you get it. Seven times seven ways, right? Yeah. Don't learn differentiated. <laughs> exactly. All right. So, anyone have anything else about communications? We can certainly do things over email as well. So, um, what about next meeting for us? Um, do we want to? Is there a good? Is anyone away a week in July? Yeah, I'm away. Uh, Nine, ten, and eleven. Okay. So and I'll have from eleven to the twenty-second. That week? I oh, like the first week in July. Well, I th should we wait till we have the responses? Well, we, we don't forget we, we need to look at the draft. Um, we can get that over sure. email, right? Yeah. Right now. Yeah. You mean like a, a Google Doc? Well, if we're going to do it by email, we should, we should, we should, we should, if any of us have changes to make, we should channel it through Jen okay. so that, so that yeah. Bob's not getting six different things right. and having them cancel each other out. Right. Oh, well, Judy didn't like this uh, comma in there, but, oh, but Aaron wants it over there, so we'll, uh, yeah, no one can tell me. It can all come for your So I think we should do that. Okay. Yeah. All right, so um, we have to, all right. But we do want to meet with Rich, so I'd like to give him some options. You're leaving the ninth. So, so the earliest anyone is leaving is the ninth? It's not no, available, it's the ninth? Yep. <laughs> for you. Don't take me into it. July is brutal. pretty much unavailable from the 5th to the 5th, though, so. Uh, a month? So what about the first or second? I like that. The first or second. The first or second. Because July 4th is, uh, you know, the Thursday, Friday this year. So people can get out of town on Wednesday if they don't get the whole week. So first or second? I think so. You're on vacation. I can be here. No, no, no. Not if you're on vacation. Or we can at least record them. Right. <laughs> yeah. See, you should be yeah. Able I, I guess I would ask, what, what's your agenda yeah. item for July first? Well, I guess. We, well, you're, you're going to have. We're going to have. Um, we're going to have. A, we're going to have a rough, rough amount if we did one on our own, and uh, and there won't be any responses yet from Aaron because we wouldn't have done anything. So maybe we do want to. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, once we do the meeting with Rich and reviewing the responses yeah. all at once, yes. Yeah. Because we could, we could chat with Rich first, and I, I again, it'd be nice to make sure we haven't missed anything that you might shed some light on. But again, we, we want all the services. We want one. I'm not going to say we're not taking services. Do I do the thirtieth? But this is of July. Brian, you're not back. Yes, of July. You could do that. Uh, I am not here. It's hard for me to say whether you're going to have anything back or not because I don't know when the other communities right. have board meetings in the summertime. So right. throughout the rest of the year, I'd say you probably have something because that would be two or three meetings. Um, but in the summertime, it's hard to say. Mm -hmm. For instance, we don't even have a July yeah. regular board meeting. So August, the week of August 5th. I'm just getting nervous that we're now ready. Right. Really but, but I think we can get a lot. If, if we have that kind of information, we can just, you know, roll up our sleeves and get get the work done. I think. But we're going to look at like August sixth. That would give people a month to reply. Wednesday. Yeah. Was that Wednesday? It's a Tuesday. Tuesday. 